Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, how are you, Marvin? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, then. You, teacher. I'm really good, really nice, ready to start. Okay. Okay, that's good. Very good. Okay, Marvin. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. What's your name, teacher? Edwin Argueta. Okay. Edwin Argueta. Nice to meet you. <clears throat> okay, here you got my name, Tatiana. How are you today? <clears throat> Tatiana Torres. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine. Okay, that's good. Excuse me? That's good, amazing. Uh, yeah, okay. Hello, Jorge, how are you today? I'm fine. Okay, that's good. Amazing, a student, we're gonna wait for a minute uh, in order to wait for the rest of the class. Vamos a esperar el resto de los estudiantes. Okay, Carlos Alfonso, how are you today? Okay. Carlos, how are you? Don't be shy, turn on the microphone. <laughs> Excuse me, good. Okay, that's good. Amazing. Very good. Okay, Carlos Herrera, how are you today? Ah, Gabriela, Gabriela, Mary. I'm fine, teacher, and you? Okay, I'm really good. Thanks. Okay, Gabriela, how are you today? Okay. I think Gabriela, yeah, your door. <laughs> okay, amazing. We're gonna wait a minute, students, uh, for the rest of the student because. Okay, Rodrigo, how are you today? Okay, don't be shy, students. <laughs> Rodrigo, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, that's good. Amazing. Gabriela, how are you today? <clears throat> okay, good. William, Alexander, how are you? Excellent teacher. Okay, that's good, amazing. Okay, wanna wait a minute, the students. Let me see. Yep. Okay. Fernando, Fernando. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, that's good. How are you, Fernando? Okay, that's good. Amazing. <clears throat> Let's see, students. Uh, let me see. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, Carlos, Fernando, Tatiana, Carlos Herrera, please tour on the webcam, please. We're gonna start with today's class. Yep. Okay, Carlos Herrera, how are you? <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, please, when you talk, you have to uh, tour on the microphone too, right? Keep in mind. Okay, that's good. Okay, please don't be shy, Fernando Roldan. 
tour on the webcam and Tatiana and um, Jose Jimenez. Okay, let's get it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, students, um, we're going to start with today's class. Tatiana Torres, how are you today? <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? Very good. Okay, that's good. Okay, students, sé que es la primera clase. Vamos a conocernos ahí. Están sumamente chai, pero don't worry. Es normal, son los nervios. Acá está lloviendo muy fuerte, pero yo estoy sudando. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, that's good. Eh, Jose Jiménez, please, can you turn on the webcam? Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jose. Estoy en oscura, así que sorry, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Veamos, chicos, ahí. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start with today's class. And yeah. Here we go. Okay. Okay, what we're gonna do at the beginning of our class will be this activity, right? This is, will be a warm up activity. Uh, you have to please tell to the class your name, age, and what do you do? Okay, I'm gonna start first, right? I'm gonna start first. Okay, my name is Edwin Alexander Argueta Marquez. That's me. Uh, I am, let me see. 29 years old, okay, and uh, I am a teacher, right? I am a teacher. <laughs> if you will, you have to say your, uh, what do you do in your professions or what do you do in your workplace, right? Okay, my name is Edwin Argueta. I am 29 years old and I am a teacher, right? Okay, in that way, you have to say these three things, las tres cosas, right? Okay, let's get started with this. Okay, comencemos con esto. Um, let me see. Okay, Harvey, go ahead. Okay, who wants to start? Raise your hands. You have to say your name, your age, and what do you do? Hi, my okay. name is Miguel Angel. Yeah. Uh, I had 37 years old and I'm still a worker. Okay, okay. Well, what do you do, Miguel? Uh -huh, Miguel, uh, what do you do? I am employed in industrial and uh, uh, a business uh, of the CL. Yeah, I I support technical support of the product, and okay. I and. We, uh, I, I do uh, customer service too. Ah, okay, okay, really good, thank I'm you. so nervous. Okay, okay, no problem, that's good, amazing, really good, you break the ice. I'm nervous. <laughs> You're nervous. Okay, Fabrizio, how are you today, Fabrizio? Good night, teacher. Nice to see you again. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. Uh, let me see, okay, continue Marvin Alfaro. You have to say your name, age, and what do you do? Hi guys, my name is Marvin Alfaro. I have a 33 years old. I work in the airport. Uh, I job in a council in, in, <coughs> in fish shop. <coughs> and, okay. 
Okay, very good. Thank you, Marvin. Really good. You did it really, really nice. Okay, go ahead. Who wants to continue? You know, introduce yourself. Um, hello, guys. My name is Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. I am 38 years old. Yeah. Uh, working in the banks. Okay, okay, really nice. Thank you, Jorge. Really, really good. Nice, amazing. Okay, somebody else, a student? Hello. My name is, hello. Okay, okay, hello, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Go, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> hello, my uh, name is Tatiana. Yep. I am a third year old. Um, I am encargada de cuentas corrientes. Okay, okay, really nice. Thank you, Tatiana. <laughs> really good. Okay, continue, Carlos. Hi, my name is Carlos Herrera. I am 39 years old. I'm, I am a software developer. Okay, really nice. Amazing. Thank you. Somebody else, a student? Okay, Gabriela, go ahead. Hello, my name is Gabriela Merari Zamora. Okay. I am 24 years old. Yeah. I am an accountant. Okay, really nice, amazing. Good, Gabriela, nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. You okay, somebody else? Hi. My name is Clarissa Chacón. I am 36 years old and I am work um human resource. Okay, really nice, Clarissa. Good, good job, right? Okay, somebody else, students? Don't be shy, you can do it. Practice made perfect. Hey, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Fabricio. Really good. Hi everyone, my name is Fabricio Jimenez. I am from Aguachapan. I am working in Embotelladora La Cascada. I am 20, I am 41 years old. Okay, okay, really good. Nice, amazing Fabricio, really good. Estaba poniendo menos años. Thanks. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, let me see somebody else. You have to introduce yourself. Keep in mind, go ahead. Who wants to try it? Okay. Fernando Roldan, you can do it, go ahead. <laughs> Hi, my name is Fernando Roldan. I have 26 years old. I work in the business in the back of America. Okay, really nice, Fernando. Good, nice to meet you. Okay, somebody else? Me, teacher. Yeah, go ahead. Hi, I am Rodrigo Maravilla. I am 22 years old and I am a mechanic. Okay, really nice, good, amazing. You look like a boss. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you, Rodrigo. Somebody else? Okay, don't be shy, don't be nervous. Up. Veamos ahí, chicos. Somebody else. Uh -huh. Go ahead, you can do it. Jose Jimenez. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Jose, Jose Jimenez. I have uh, 31 years old. Okay. I, I am employer at Alcaldía Panchimalco. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Thank you, Jose. Okay. okay nice to meet you. Okay, acá me están eh, sugiriendo que Carlos Alvarado quiere hablar. Okay, Carlos. <laughs> Hi, my name is Carlos Alvarado. Uh, I am 36 years old. I'm working in Banco Promerica. 
Okay, really good. Amazing, Carlos. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you too. Okay, Fernando is happy, right? <laughs> okay, amazing. Good. Hey. Yeah, but okay, somebody else, Carlos Herrera. Ah, you did it, right? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Marlon Rodriguez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name is Marlon Rodriguez. Yep. I am su contador in Central Hidráulica. Ah, okay, okay, really good. Thank you, Marlon. Really, really nice. Nice to meet you. Okay, amazing. Okay, luego tenemos Angel. You have to say your name, your age, and what do you do? For example, in my case, I am Edwin Alexander. I'm 29 years old and I am a teacher. Okay, go ahead, Angel. Okay, yeah, can you turn on the microphone, Angel, please? Angel Santos. <laughs> okay, yep. Turn on the microphone, please. Yeah, yeah, like this. Really good. Yep. Okay, Angel. I am, I am. I'm from Salvador. Okay, okay. I, I live in Rosario Mora. Okay, really good. I am 29 years Okay, okay, R really good. Okay, Angel Santos. Uh -huh. Okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> Angel Santos is in a slow motion. I think it's the internet connection. I am a student. Okay, okay, really good. Okay, amazing, thank you. Thank you. Okay, really good. Uh, Martinez, you have to introduce yourself. You have to say your name. And uh, okay. Martinez, are you there? Okay. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Carlos Martinez. Yeah. Uh, wh what do you do? What do you do? Um, uh, for example, I am a teacher. What do you do? Ah, uh, I am engineer civil. Ah, okay, okay, really good. Thank you, uh, Martinez, really good. Okay, students, um, because of the time, we're gonna run quickly. Vamos a ir avanzando por el tiempo, así que primero vamos a ver algo really, really important, right? Okay, I hope you're ready. Uh, can you see this slide presentation? Yep. Yeah, sure. Okay, really good. Yes. This, is, this was a... Uh, yeah, okay, really good. This was a, a warm-up activity, right? You have to say your name, age, and what do you do. In my case, I'm gonna say it again. Uh, my name is Erwin Alexander Argueta Marquez, and I am 29 years old. I am a teacher, right? And I'm gonna be your teacher and your friends too, because here we're gonna practice and we're gonna learn together. Okay, okay, here we go. In order to start with today's class, we get the uh, welcome to this program, right? This we're gonna call National English for Work program El Salvador. 
Este es inglés para el trabajo en El Salvador. Así que, welcome to this class. Right? Ya. Yeah. Ok. Eh, tenemos un pequeño link acá. I need somebody who help me to read it. I want to find it. ¿Quién quiere ayudarme a leer? Ah. Ok, don't be shy. You can do it. Ajá, ok. Eh, Carlos Alfonso me está diciendo. O oh, está arreglando la cama. Okay. No. <risa> Estoy moviendo la cámara, pero voy a leer ahí lo que pueda. Ok, ya <risa> eh, Dice: Welcome to Module 4 of the, be the Beginner Level. Yeah. This, this set of worksheets. Yes. Will accompany you throughout uh, 66 hours yeah. of instructions. Yes. From from day one, you will acquire the com the competence. Yeah, yeah, right. That are necessary. Yes. To communicate. To communicate yes. successfully in your workplace. Really good. All activities are orient, oriented to develop listening, comprehension, speaking, reading, writing, pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary. Vocabulary, vocabulary skill. skills. Yeah really, really skills. yeah, really good. Thank you, Carlos. Really nice. You are really brave, right? Ahí se la jugó y salimos muy bien. Okay, veamos. Eh, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, really good. Marvin Alfaro, can you continue reading, please? Okay, um, this is, yeah. you will all see some subjects websites for extended practice on your own in your free time yeah congratulations for being a participant of this course and for giving your best to become competent in the english language okay okay really nice thank you marvin alfaro okay students uh, as you see here um esta nos da la bienvenida a este programa, módulo 4, nivel principiante. Es para ustedes. Eh, aquí no podemos equivocar. Estoy para explicarles y para que practiquemos English, right? Así que no, no sean tímidos. Don't be shy. We're going to practice together. Vamos a practicar juntos. Vamos a aprender nuevas cosas. Y eh, bienvenidos a esta clase. I'm really happy to see you today here. Eh, me emociona verlos acá. Realmente me encanta este trabajo, así que we're gonna do our best, right? Vamos a hacer lo mejor que se pueda. Veamos, chicos. Eh, antes de continuar con la, eh, con la clase, eh, veamos, necesito, eh, ¿cómo puedo decir? Ok, necesito que veamos Students Obligation, algunas obligaciones que tienen con estudiante. Yo sé que ya se les han dicho en otros módulos, en so on, pero necesito decirlas nuevamente. Así que pongan atención. Eh, vamos a ver. Acá, en primer lugar tiene que haber un respeto mutuo, right? Y ser cooperativo. Eh, así como fueron ahí algunos, me, di, me dijo Fernando ahí, eh, Carlos quiere participar, así de cooperativos tenemos que hacer, right? Eh, eso uh, tiene que haber respeto ahí eh, ojo algo sumamente importante you have to turn on the webcam tienen que tener la cámara encendida de la webcam así que no es no no es que yo no quiera que tal vez ustedes estén cenando ahí de la pena pero es un requisito y tienen que tenerla encendida así que para los que no lo han hecho please turn on the webcam Enciendan la cámara. 
tienen que poner su nombre completo, por favor ahí, eh, los que solo tienen dos nombres, tienen que tener todo el nombre, así como Gabriela, Mary, y tiene todo el nombre, right? <laughs> okay, that's good, eh, and so on, así que eh, rename uh, that, please. Eh, reescríbanlo nuevamente, todo su nombre completo, porque a veces... Teacher. Eh, yes. Um, yo les comentaba en el chat de WhatsApp que soy un poquito indispuesta de salud y estoy recostada, entonces por eso no quiero encender la cámara, pero sí estoy acá en la clase. Ok, ok, thank you, Clarisa. Eh, Clarisa es un caso especial, ella está enfermita y aparte de eso ahí nos quiere estar apoyando y está con ganas de aprender, así que vamos a considerarla. Eh, es el único caso que se puede permitir, ella ya nos había comunicado antes, así que Clarisa Chacón solo ponga su nombre completo y ya para mañana creo, espero que esté mejor. Yes. Ok. Eh, Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Angel Santos, escriba su nombre completo, igual Martínez, su nombre completo, Marlon Rodríguez, José Jiménez, eh, nombre completo, please, Tatiana Torres, nombre completo, Marvin Alfaro, su nombre completo. Ok, muy bien, students. Eh, yo sé que esto es un poco así, like a boring, a esta hora dan ganas de irse a dormir ahí a la maquita, pero eh, tenemos que ver esto, ¿sí? Para no decirlo diariamente, eh, también tienen que desarrollar unas tareas diarias en la plataforma. ¿Cómo así? Veamos acá. Eh, en la plataforma, chicos, ya entraron a la plataforma, right? Yes. Ok, veamos acá. Ok, acá. Eh, en la plataforma ustedes van a encontrar... Videoconferencia 1 es esta clase. Cuando se suba, ahí van a poder eh, reforzar si quieren volver a ver la clase. Van a find here. Y acá tienen una tarea que la tienen que hacer diaria. ¿sí? Al final de la semana tienen que tener estas cinco tareas que son a piece of cake, sumamente fáciles. Eh, si ustedes notan, tarea 1, vamos a verlo así rápidamente. Eh, solo tiene five questions, I think. Cinco pequeñas. Preguntas ahí. Eh, bueno, vamos a verlas luego porque ahí están las respuestas. <ríe> ok. Eh, entonces, um, let me see. esas tareas tienen que hacerlas diarias. Solo son cinco preguntitas. Lo más que les va a tomar son que dos, tres minutos. Right? Ok. Luego las notas. Las notas uh, va a depender de las tareas, de las notas semanales, es decir, de las cinco tareas. ¿Sí? Eh, del midterm exam, va a haber un midterm exam por todo el mes, todo el curso y un final test, y un test eh, final. No se preocupen ni crean que esto es así, como, ah, qué difícil, que no sé qué. Si ustedes están en todas las clases, va a ser sumamente fácil que tienen que estar, obviamente. Y eh, esta tiene que ser arriba del 80%, right? del 80%. Ojo, otro punto importante es, tienen que eh, poner un comentario en el foro o en el discussion box. Por día. Tienen que poner algo en el foro de ¿no? por día. Cuando vean el video ahí, vamos a agregar alguna, que por ejemplo, eh, si ustedes tienen alguna consulta, duda, sugerencia y la escribimos, o si quieren opinar acerca de algo, ah, esta, tengo una oración que va a servir acá, le escribimos, right? Lo vamos a explicar más adelante por los que ven así un poco raro, dice, está hablando el teacher, right? <ríe> ok, let's go. Veamos, la asistencia, chicos, tienen que estar every day, right? Every day. Así que eh, nos vamos a ver seguidos. Don't worry, we're gonna try to do our best. Y lo último y lo más relevante es que todos los miércoles de 10 a 11 vamos a tener clases de apoyo. ¿Cómo así? Al terminar la clase, dos horas, eh, a su correo o a su WhatsApp le va a llegar eh, una invitación que le tocan clases de apoyo, ¿sí? A cada uno le va a tocar una vez al mes. Todo el curso, 
una sola vez. Son 10 minutos por estudiante todos los miércoles. Es decir, que este, este miércoles solo vamos a trabajar con seis en next week, la otra semana, con otros seis y así sucesivamente. ¿Y es? Así que aprovechen ese tiempo, solo son 10 minutitos por students. Así que, eh, I don't know if you have a questions. ¿Tienen preguntas, dudas acerca de eso? No questions. Anything is clear. Yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay. Yo, I, I yeah. teacher, este, una consulta. Yeah, yeah. Si no se puede ingresar todos los días a la plataforma porque este, a veces pide que la plataforma lo haga en máquina de escritorio. Mm -hmm. Entonces, si hay opción de hacerlo, digamos, dos veces a la semana o, o los viernes, no sé. Ok, ok, ya. Yeah. Eh, si, digamos, usted no puede ingresar, de hecho, la plataforma se puede descargar uh, la aplicación. Si tienen Android o iOS, se puede descargar. Así que no hay ningún problema con eso. Pero, si no podrían acceder de todas formas por el tiempo, por esto, por lo otro, eh, si el viernes me hacen las cinco tareas y me lo prometen, cool, you can do it. Pero no se pueden pasar del viernes a hacer las cinco tareas de esa semana. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Porque es un otro. Sí, buena cuestión. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Yeah, casi, similar, casi similar a la que dice Edwin. Yes. En mi caso, van a haber días de que no me voy a poder conectar cabal a las nueve, pero sí me voy a incorporar a la clase. Ok, ok, no problem. Eh, pero, perdón, a, la, a las ocho sería, a las ocho sería. Ok, yeah. okay no, no hay problema, Marvin. Lo importante es que ustedes ingresen, no se pierdan mucho tiempo para que no haya ahí este como una difusión en el conocimiento, pero está muy bien, es comprensible. Eh, si ustedes en algún momento, no deben faltar, de hecho no se debe faltar, Insafor nos va a estar eh, auditando y pues hay que hacerlo todo como es. Eh, son sumamente estrictos con esto, porque este programa es para ustedes, ¿sí? Así que aprovechenlo, es una gran oportunidad. Eh, hasta yo me emociono tanto, <ríe> así que espero que ustedes también. Y, eh, no sé, I don't know if you have more questions. No. Yeah, no, right. Ok. Eh, recuerden poner su nombre completo en, acá en Zoom. Necesito ver su nombre completo, right. Miguel Crespin, put your full name. Clarice, ah, Clarice, ahí, yeah, yeah. Angel Santos también ponga su nombre completo. Por favor. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, students, uh, we're going to start with today's class. And we're going to see this. This is the content that we're going to see in this class. We're going to uh, learn from four units, right? Unit one, two, three, four. The first unit that we're going to work today, it's going to be related to purchasing and storing. Ya vamos a ver qué es eso, así que eh, let's get a start with today's class, right? Okay, here we go, students. Uh, let me see the time. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is Principiante module number four. The topic for today's class will be how to use counts and uncounts nouns. Okay, vamos a ver qué es eso. Veamos acá. Before to continue with today's class, we got an objective. Todo, en todas las clases vamos a tener un general and a specific objective, right? Okay, eh, we're gonna start with this. Fabricio, can you help me to read the general objective? Okay, teacher. Yeah. Lesson objective. General objective. Participants will develop competitive competence that will allow them to describe features of product, describe process about selling or, or buying online. Yes. Now, now customers options towards products. Yeah. They sell and have conversation with others about financial activities. Okay. 
Okay, really good. Thank you, Fabricio. Nice. Congratulations. Okay, teacher. Really Thanks. good. Okay, students, uh, keep in mind that now we are learning, right? Sometimes we're going to make mistakes, así que don't worry. Here we're going to make mistakes. Aquí estamos para cometer errores, así que no se preocupe. Uh, we're going to see the specific objectives. Okay, let's see. A lady, please. A ladies who want to read the specific objectives. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> Tatiana, go ahead. Espe specific participant will be able to description different features about the product that people purchase. 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 Uh, purchase. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, really good. Ladies. Purchase. Pur purchase. Yes. Really nice. Okay. Thank you, Thank Tatiana. You. Really good. Así me gusta. Que no tenga miedo. You can do it. Uh, intend it. Aquí vamos a aprender English si ustedes no tienen miedo. Right? Okay. Okay, students, uh, we're going to see a useful sentence for this class. And we're going to see something that I did all the time, que lo hago todo el tiempo, because it's really important that you understand and you are able to say something during the class, right? Okay. Eh, veamos acá. Esto está sumamente difícil, así que Miguel Ángel, ¿qué dice acá? Miguel Ángel. Hi, uh, useful sentence. Uh, yo tengo una pregunta. Okay, teacher, no entiendo. Okay. Y teacher, todo está claro. Okay, really good. Nice. Thank you, Miguel. Okay, uh, somebody know how to say this in English? ¿Alguien sabe cómo se dice esto en inglés? La primera. Let's go. I have a question. Okay, okay. Nice. Yeah. I have a question, right? Okay, what about this one? Teacher, I don't understand. understand. Yeah, I don't understand. Okay, cuando yo diga algo que no se entienda, hey, teacher, I don't understand, excuse me, I'm sorry. Es normal a veces when yo solo entiendo. Okay, ask me. What is that? Everything is clear. Everything is clear. Clear, right? Everything is clear. Okay, really good. Keep in mind, students, if you want to ask a question, teacher, I have a question. If you don't understand, teacher, I don't understand. Is it all that? Teacher, everything is clear, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, may I continue? Yeah. Okay. Really good. I have a question. Teacher, I don't understand, and everything is clear, right? Very, very good. Okay, continue with this. We're gonna guess this word, right? Vamos a adivinar qué significan estas palabras. Okay, what about this one? Size, talla. Size, muy bien, es talla. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. What about this one? Güey, peso. Peso. Okay, okay. It is what in Spanish? Peso. 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 Really good. Okay, what about this one? Warranty. 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 Yeah. yeah, really good. Warranty is garantia. Really nice. This one? Tolerance. Bodega, almacén. Bodega, almacén. En su teléfono también lo pueden ver. Almacenamiento. Yeah, really good. Almacenamiento es una bodega. Almacen. Nice, congratulations. Really good. <clears throat> okay, students. This one you can say size. 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 Yeah. This one is weight. Warranty. 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 Yeah. Storage. 
Storage. Storage. Storage. Okay, ready me. Uh, question about this? Pronunciation or what's the meaning of this word? Questions? No questions? No question. Oh, okay, okay, ready me. Everything is clear, right? Okay, I hope so. Okay, better que esté claro ahí, like a Coca-Cola. Okay, thank you. Carao. <laughs> okay, students. Uh, now we're gonna see uh, something related to grammar, right? Uh, we're gonna talk about nouns. Vamos a hablar acerca de los nombres que son countable and uncountable. Los nombres que son contables y no contables. Contables y no contables. Muy bien, really good. Veamos cómo es esto. Uh, please pay full attention to this. We're going to start with the countable nouns. ¿Cuáles son los countable nouns? Los nombres que se pueden contar. Todos los que. What? Okay. 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 Everything that we can count, right? Thank you. Okay, muy bien. Eh, los, los nombres que son contables son todos aquellos que sí podemos contar. For example, eh, we got the singular and plural form. A tree. ¿Qué es a tree? Un árbol. Un árbol. Muy bien. Podemos contar a tree. ¿Se puede yes. contar? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we go to the park sometimes. Eh, when you are chilling out, cuando están ahí solo por distraerse, eh, vemos que comienzan a cortar los árboles. Ay, hay un árbol, hay un árbol. Ok, one, two, three, four, five, right? Podemos contarlos. A three o oh, two trees, right? Yep, se puede contar. For example, yep. Um, yep. Eh, what is this? Libro. Yeah. Libro. Book. The book is. The book is. Oh, es viejo. Oh. Yeah. viejo. Libro es viejo. Libro es viejo. Really good. En este caso, sí se puede contar y es singular o plural. Singular. Singular. Really good. Nice. Singular. Uh, sometimes I'm going to have the plural girl. The books are old. Aquí tenemos el plural. ¿Se puede contar o no se puede contar? No. Yes, no, no se puede contar. Ah, ok. Es un barrio. Se puede. Está hablando de barrios. Uh -huh. Ok, es muy really bien. Ok, veamos acá. Cuando hablamos de los nombres en sí, eh, hablamos de cosas que sí podemos contar. Por ejemplo, un árbol, un libro, computadoras. Podemos contar que están almacenadas o lugar. En este caso, aunque sea plural, no se especifica. No se especifica, correcto, pero sí se puede contar aquí. Right? Ok, muy bien. Vamos a ir profundizando. Don't worry. Así que, uh, we're going to pass to and count of now. Son los nombres que no se pueden contar. Okay, thank you. Que no se pueden contar. For example, have only one form. Tienen una sola forma. Estos hay plurales. Eh, la mayor parte del tiempo son usados como como singular. Singulares. Y no podemos usar a an or a number before it. No se puede utilizar un número. O, a, o este artículo eh, indefinido, que es un y un, ¿sí? Ok, o un número. For example, eh, ok, estas son nombres que no podemos contar. For example, we can account butter. Butter, what is butter? Mantequilla. 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 ¿Se podría contar la mantequilla? Uh, no. 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 Sí, si hablamos en general de la mantequilla, no se puede contar. ¿sí? Eh, 
no se puede contar. Ok. Uh, then we have sugar. Sugar. Azúcar. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> En libras. Ok, ok, pero ella en su forma solita, solita, la sugar, digamos. En no. No, no. Right, en general. Entonces, tienen que tomar en cuenta esto. Si ustedes hablan en general, forma generalizada, butter, mantequilla o mantequillas, right? No podemos agregar eso. ¿sí? Sugar pasa lo mismo. Sugar. Sugar. Right? No se puede contar. Pero si usted puede contar uno, una unidad, por ejemplo, uh, dos libras de azúcar. Ahí sí, ¿cómo diríamos en Two pounds of, of sugar, right? Two pounds of sugar. Two pounds of sugar. Yeah, ahí sí se puede contar. Ok, then we got rice. rice. Arroz. Mira, ¿se podría contar? Tú sabes dónde está su casa. Ok. Ok. Eh, then we got a bread. Pan. Pan, ya. Yeah. ¿Se puede contar o no se puede contar? La última vez no sabía que... Ajá. Ok. Ahí. Ok, very good. Bread no se puede contar. Teacher, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Y pueden apagar los micrófonos cuando, porque se escucha mucha interferencia. Ok, ok. Please turn off the microphone. Ahí si no vamos a oír Netflix también acá nosotros. <laughs> ok, very good. Entonces acá chicos, rice. When we are talking about rice, sugar, bread, no se puede contar. Son cosas incontables. En este caso no podemos decir a rice, un arroz. Tendría que ser un granito de arroz, ¿verdad? Ahí hablamos de una unidad de medida. ¿Sí? Ok, muy bien. O oh, two rice, no se puede. A bread, two bread, no. Ok. Eh, everything is clear. Have you got a question about this? Questions? No questions. Ok, really good. Ok, veamos algo, students. Uh, let me see, Jose, William, Alexander Martinez, turn on the webcam, please, and Daisy Resino. Turn on the webcam. Ok, chicos, eh, ahora vamos a pasar listas. Se pasa lista también online, así que don't worry. <ríe> eh, cuando diga su nombre, digan presente, right? Así que, let me see. Veamos acá. Ok, here we go. Vamos a ver. Ok, Jaime Ernesto Hernández Navarrete. Jaime, are you there? Eh, cuando escuchen su nombre, chicos, eh, Dicen presente para anotarlos ahí. Si están, vamos a poner un 1. Y si no están, se va a poner un 0 de 0 asistencia. Right? Así que, eh, please pay full attention to your name. Ok, we're going to continue with this. José Vladimir Jiménez Escobar. No? Ok, really good. Eh, Carlos Enrique Martínez. Presente. Ok, thank you, Carlos. Ok, let me see. Uh, Wendy Saraí Bonilla Ordóñez. Wendy Saraí. Último llamado. <laughs> ok, I'm just kidding. Ok, eh, veamos. Wendy Saraí, no, right? Ok, José Ángel Santos Martínez. José Ángel Santos Martínez, are you there? No. Tiene que decir presente, chicos, ahí, José Ángel. Presente, right? enciende el micrófono. Ajá, José Ángel Santo Martínez. Se presente por la patria. 
presente. Ok, thank you, José Ángel. Okay. Eh, yeah, tiene que quedar grabado ahí, así que I'm sorry for that, but you have to say presente, all right? Ok, thank you. Eh, Gabriela Merari Zamora Orellana. Ajá, Gabriela. No la escuchamos. <laughs> I'm sorry. Present. Ok, thank you, Gabriela. Really good. Uh, let me see. José Alberto Ortiz Molina. Es Jorge Teacher. Jorge, Jorge. Sorry. Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. Presente. Ok, thank you. Eh, Carlos Alfonso Alvarado Hernández. Presente. Ok, thank you. Eh, Fernando de Jesús Roldán Torres. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. Presente. Really good. William Alexander. Presente. Perdón. Ok, thank you. William Alexander Martínez Enríquez. William Alexander. No, right. Ah, yeah, William Alexander Martinez. And, uh, you know, eating dinner, right? Anda, anda cenando. Ok. Está acá, pero no está acá. Ok, muy bien. Eh, William Alexander. Ok, continue with this. Ok, Miguel Ángel Alexander López Crespín. Presente. Thank you. Marlon Ernesto Rodríguez Sandoval. Present teacher. Thank you. Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla Vázquez. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Clarisa Yamilet Chacón Quintanilla. I am here. Ok, thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Daisy, no, right? She's not, I, Daisy. I am here, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry, Daisy. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, Tatiana Yvonne Torres. Present, teacher. Okay, really good. Tatiana, yeah, yeah, Tatiana, are you there? Yes. Thank you, Marvin Ernesto Alfaro Campos. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Carlos René Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Fabricio Alexander Jimenez Herrera. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, students, eh, es algo que vamos a hacer diariamente, así que <laughs> don't worry, right? Okay, continue with today's class. And now let me see ya. Yeah. Estábamos en la parte aquí aburridita, pero importante, que es la gramática. Así que nos tenemos los countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Los que se pueden contar y los que no se pueden contar, right? Ok. Eh, we're going to see something really, really important here. Vamos a ver algo importante. Eh, estos son los más difíciles, uncountable nouns. Son los más difíciles. ¿Por qué? Because... Most of the time, we're going to find abstract ideas. Vamos a encontrarlos en las ideas que son abstractas. No se pueden. Que no yeah. yeah. For example, love. Right? Love. Freedom. Education. Luck. Health. Beauty. Music. Thunder. Right? Ok, el amor es algo abstracto, no se puede contar, así que vamos, va a ser incontable, no se puede tocar ni se puede contar. Y ahí cuando a un girlfriend said, ¿cuántos me quieres? Uno dice, uff, ahí, a lot of rage. Entonces no se puede contar, es algo que no se puede escribir. And so on, right? Ok, también eh, made of smaller parts. Las cosas que son hechas de muchas partes pequeñas. Por ejemplo, sugar, rice, salt, uh, sand, la arena, la sal, 
el arroz, la azúcar, flour, este es what? Harina. Yeah, yeah, really good. Dirt. Es como la... You got an idea about this? Dirt. <laughs> Uh -huh. Suciedad. Yeah, yeah, la suciedad. Really good. Dust. Dust. El polvo. Yeah, really good. El polvo no se puede contar, right? Traffic. Uff. Ahí. Eh, recordando cuando éramos happy, right? Okay, the traffic. We cannot count. Grass. Grass. What is grass? Grasa. Okay, okay. That's gris. That's gris. Esta es grass. Grass. Grama. Yeah, grama. Césped. Césped or grama. Yeah. Spaghettis. Spaghettis, right? No se puede contar tampoco porque son demasiadas. Son muchas partes pequeñísimas. Ahí. Ok, really good. También algunas que son hechas de food, right? Son food, algunas comidas. Eh, for example, bread, fish, cheese, chocolate, meat, bacon, food, ham. Ok, really good. Esto es como lo más generalizado, chicos. Eh, a medida va pasando ahí la clase, se va a ir comprendiendo todo esto. Eh, sé que es bastante information, but you have to keep in mind this. Ok. Also, we're going to find liquid in cases, right? We got a water, milk, wine, oil, coffee, rain, soap, air, smoke, blood, juice, and fog. Todas estas cosas que son liquid o gases, los que son líquidas o gaseosas, tampoco se pueden contabilizar, a menos que sea una unidad de medida, una botella de agua, ahí sí, a bottle of water. Pero el agua en general no se puede eh, contar, contabilizar. Ok, luego tenemos material, también algún material como wood, glass, paper, and so on, right? But be careful with this. Eh, tenemos furniture, advice, work, news, information, money, and luggage. Estas cosas al parecer sí se pudiesen contar, pero se categorizan como que no se puede. Why? Veamos acá el money. ¿Se puede contar money? Yes or no? Yes. No. Ok, yes, not, really good. Se puede contar, pero está en los que no son contables, en general, ¿sí? En general, porque nosotros decimos, ¿cuánto dinero tenés? Eh, no, le, no sabemos, right? Pero cuando ya lo contamos, sí. Entonces, la pregunta sí hacemos con how much, no con how many, que ya vamos a ver eso. Ok, muy bien. I don't know if you have a question about this. Questions? No? It's clear? No, it's clear. Like a Coca-Cola? Yeah. Yeah, like this, right? <laughs> Very good. Okay, students, now we're going to watch a video because we need to understand this information, right? Okay, here we go. Let me see. Yeah. We're going to watch a part of this video, right? Espero que puedan escucharlo, así que go ahead. This is English conversation for active. Can you hear the video? Yeah. Okay. How much? How many English speaking practice? How much milk do you want? Okay. Not too much, just a little. Ok, ok, really good students. Let's see. En esta parte vamos a ver eh, these questions, right? Dice how much. Este vamos a encontrar dos que es how much and how many. Vamos a empezar con how much que es cuánto. ¿Sí? ¿Cuánto pero que se puede contar o que no se puede contar? Ok, ok. Ok, no se puede. Ok, no se puede. We're going to talk about milk. No se puede contabilizar. Así que, how much milk 
do you want? Quanta? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Not too not too much. No mucho. Just a little. Un. Un poquito. Un poquito. Really good. No mucho. Solo un poquito. Muy bien. Really good. Continue with this. How much spaghetti do you want? Not too much, just a little. How much rice do you want? Not too much, just a little. Okay. How much salad do you want? Not too much, just a little. Okay. How many fries do you want? Okay, in this case, students, ya vimos how much. How much is para los que no se pueden contar, uncountable nouns. In this case, we're gonna pass to how many. How many son los que sí, we can count, right? Lo que sí se pueden contar. In este caso, fries, uh, it's very intuitive, papas fritas, right? Ahí sí se pueden contabilizar. Not too many, just a few. Okay, as you see, you can answer not too many, right? Not too many, just a few. Uh, no mucho, solo un. Solo un poco, right? Un poco, really. Okay, continue with this. How many grapes do you want? Not too many, just a few. Yeah. How many eggs do you want? Not too many, just a few. Okay. How many cookies do you want? Not too many, just a few. Okay, now it's your turn. Okay, students. Now um, it's gonna be your turn. <laughs> okay, uh, did you understand what's the difference between how much and how many? So, so, okay, okay, that's good. Don't worry, we're gonna um, do that together, right? Así que continue with today's class. Uh, give me a minute, let's see, yes. Okay, we're gonna practice with this picture uh, according to countable and uncountable nouns, right? We're gonna practice with this. Okay, let's see. Uh, what is this in English, right? Woman. A woman. Okay, okay, muy bien. This is a countable or an uncountable? Countable. Countable, really good, really good. Okay, what about this? Sun. Sun. Yeah. Countable and uncountable. The countable. The countable. Countable. Really good. We can count sounds. What about this one? Sugar. Sugar. Okay. Sugar. That's right. No, no, it's not bad, right? Okay, uh, this is good. Uh, okay, is this countable or uncountable? Countable. Okay. Okay. okay, a car. This is countable or uncountable? Countable. Okay, students, now um, that we see this, you are able to identify, you are able to identify, um, let me see, okay, with this picture, what is countable and, and uncountable nouns, right? In this case, we got a woman, this is only one, 
So that's why you can say that a lady, one lady, uh, and so on, right? In this case, sons. You cannot count. You cannot say it as uh, sons, one sounds, no, right? You have to talk about in general way. Yes? The same happened with the sugar or salt. And uh, this is a countable noun. One car or a car. Yes? It's clear? Everything is clear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, continue with this. Now we're gonna run quickly because of the time. So we're gonna see how much versus how many, right? Para los que no se comprendió mucho esto, vamos a eh, reforzar acá. Okay, let me see. Eh, mm -hmm. Okay, William Alexander, can you help me to read this, please? La lectura, nada más, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah, yes. When we want to know the quantity or amount of something, we ask question starting with how much and how many. Yeah, thank you. Este, parece que pasó lista. Yo le había enviado un mensaje ahí que voy a hacer una emergencia rapidito, una emergencia que me salió, pero ya regresé aquí. No, okay, okay, William, no hay problema. Eh, unos 10 minutitos antes vamos a volver a pasar lista, así ah. que dice present, right? Okay. I'm here. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, William, thank you. Entonces acá, chicos, eh, we're going to use this when we want to talk about quantity, right? For example, how much. Vamos a utilizarlo for los que no se pueden contar. Yep. How much? Para los incontables. For example, uh, let me see. How much sugar would you like? Eh, ¿Cómo podríamos traducir esto? How much sugar would you like? Te gustaría mucho azúcar? Okay. ¿Qué azúcar te gustaría? Yeah, yeah, like this. Thank you, Marvin. ¿Cuánto azúcar te gustaría? Yes, really good. ¿Cuánto azúcar te gustaría? Muy bien, luego tenemos acá How much money did you spend? Okay. Spanish? How much money did you spend? ¿Cuánto dinero has gastado? Ok, muy bien, really good. ¿Cuánto dinero gastaste? Ahí. Tal vez se fue a Metro, right? Metro Centro y, y ahí se me fue el man. Yeah, really good. Y tenemos este otro ejemplo. How much milk is in the fridge? Uh -huh. What does it mean in Spanish? Tiene muchos leche en la refrigeradora. Ok, ok, muy bien. Es cuánta leche hay en el refri, right? En este caso, chicos, es incontable porque no sabemos si hay eh, un galón, dos galones, no sabemos. Estamos hablando en general way. Yep. Ok, really good. Eh, veamos otros ejemplos acá. <coughs> Tenemos, eh, when we want to talk about prices, cuando hablamos de prices, right? How much is this dress? What is dress? What is Vestido, ropa. Yeah. ropa. Yeah, really good. Así que, gentlemen, Vestido. atención a esta pregunta, muy útil. Eh, se la van a hacer a menudo. <laughs> ok, así que, eh, how much is this dress? ¿Cuánto cuesta el vestido? Tal vez andan ahí con la lady, uh, with your girlfriend, with your wife, I don't know. Así que, ¿cuánto cuesta? Aquí estamos hablando de prices, right? How much? Acá pueden, pueden incluir money. How much money is this dress? ¿Cuánto dinero cuesta? Pero eso es como redundante, right? No es necesario eh, ponerlo. How much is this dress? Ok. Eh, veamos this example. Eh, somebody who help me to read these questions, please. 
O cómo son esos zapatos. Oh, ¿Cuánto ah, cuestan esos? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Thank you, Tatiana. ¿Cuánto cuestan estos zapatos? Ok, entonces, how much are these shoes, right? Ok, and uh, you can add also cost. Si queremos saber ya algo más en específico, how much did your jacket cost? ¿Cuánto? Me costó la... Ajá. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuánto te cuesta esta? Jacket, right? Jacket. Really good. ¿Cuánto cuesta esa chaqueta? Really good. How much will it cost me? ¿Cuánto me costará? Aquí puede hacer algo al azar, right? Eh, so, students, as you see, how much, vamos a utilizarlo con los que no se pueden contar. How much. Por, por ejemplo, una pregunta muy clave que se hace en una entrevista es, ¿cuánto dinero quiere ganar? ¿Sí? Es una muy interesante question, ahí en Spanish. Eh, ¿Cuál utilizarían ustedes? How much o how many? How much? How much? How much? How much? Really good, nice. How much, right? Okay, continue with this, students. Now we're gonna see how many. How many we're gonna use for countable nouns. For example, eh, we got it this. Eh, let me see. Somebody who helped me to read it. Mm -hmm. How many days are there? Yeah, yeah. ¿Cuántos días hay en enero? En enero, really good. Thank you. Uh, how many days are in are there in January, right? ¿Cuántos días hay en enero? ¿Se puede contar los días del mes? Yes. 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 So that's why we're going to use how many. Por esa razón vamos a utilizar how many. Okay, really good. Eh, veamos otro ejemplo. This one. How many students are in this room? No, cousins. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, this one. How many cousins? How many cousins do you have? you have? Yeah, really good thing. Um, yeah, si me gusta de participativos, right? Que participem, participemos todos, really good. How many cousins do you have? Y ahí damos una respuesta. Cousin, okay, what is cousin? Primos. Primos, sí. Prima, primos. Okay. ¿Cuántos primos tiene? <laughs> yeah, really good. Entonces se puede contar, right? Se puede contar. Yes. Yeah. A menos que su tío sea un poco ahí. <laughs> Amazing. Ok. Eh, ok. Also, when we talk about countable nouns, when we talk about countable nouns, we're going to see this. Eh, hay una, for example, cheese no se puede contar. Yes? No se puede contar. Pero en este caso agregamos some. I would like to buy some cheese. Right? Some cheese. Algo de queso. Ok. Entonces, eh, acá ya es una respuesta, pero la pregunta quedaría how much is uncountable. No se podría contar. How much cheese would you like? Yeah? Okay, and then we're gonna have this. How many do you need? I need some coins. We are talking about coins. Estamos hablando de monedas, monedas, right? I need some sugar. How yeah. much do you need? Yeah, really good. Okay, okay, students, everything is clear about this? Está claro eso? Yeah. Yes. Okay, very good. That's it. Okay, students, if everything is clear about this, we're gonna pass to practice this example, right? Okay, let's see this item. Veamos este item. What is this? Smart TV. Smart TV, right. Really good. Uh, okay, uh, what is the brand? The brand is Samsung. Okay, really nice. Thank you. 
Uh, what about dimensions? Okay, okay. What about its function? Watch TV program. Netflix. <laughs> okay. Okay, really nice. It function will be it got a Facebook, Netflix, YouTube, and Skype, and so on, right? Okay, if, what about the price? Imagine the price of this uh, smart TV. So expensive. <laughs> <laughs> expensive, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, the price, imagine. Uh, the amount, please. 400. 400, okay, really good. 400 dollars. What about the warranty? One year of warranty? Yeah, one year, could be one year, two years, three months, I don't know, right? That's gonna depend on the company, really good. Okay, students, as you see, every single item, we're gonna have feature or characteristic, right? Va a tener algunas características, for example, brand, que es la marca, dimensions, las dimensiones o tamaños, functions, las funciones, price, que es lo más importante, el precio, y la warranty, que es también importante, la garantía. Muy bien. Really good. <clears throat> okay, we're going to see these students. Uh, we talk about size, size, right? Okay, we get the most common, eh, centímetros y pulgadas. En centímetros, in English, ¿cómo lo vamos a decir? You don't have an idea? <laughs> no. Okay. I don't know. Centímetro. Okay, already did. Centímetro. 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 Centimeter, one centimeter equal. Okay, yeah, like this. Okay. Uh, what about this? Pulgadas. How do you say pulgadas? Inch. 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 Uh, pulgadas in plural. Inch. Yes. Okay. Inches. 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 Casi chinches. Inches. Okay, really good. Inches. In. Okay, nice. Amazing. Okay, students. Uh, basically, uh, this is the most common size. Centimeters in inches. Or inch. Right? In este caso, eh, la mayor parte del tiempo vamos a ver when we talk about centimeter, TM. Yes? Bien. Si hablamos de pulgada, vamos a verlo así, dos rayitas. Yes? It's clear? Yeah, I have. Okay, okay really nice. Eh, then we got a weight. Weight, que es el peso. Tenemos la misma también. Tenemos pounds and kilograms. So what is pounds? Libras. 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 Kilograms. Kilogramos. Kilogramos. Really good. Eh, la libra va a ser sumamente fácil to identify. Se escribe o se abrevia como en español. LB, right? Y kilogramos. AG, right? Okay, really good. Eh, okay, it's clear all of this. ¿Está claro esto? Everything is clear. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, here we go, I said it. Yeah, I think 
Angel <laughs> internet problems. So, but we're gonna continue with this. Okay, student, now we're gonna practice uh, with this in group, right? You have to ask to a partner about all the problems that the workplace push, push, right? What are the feature of it or then? Okay, we good. Uh, somebody know what the meaning of push? Uh -huh. No, estes son compras, compras, like a buy, yes? But this is in general, compras, purchase, right? Okay, really good. Uh, what you're gonna do with the activity in groups, right? You have to tell the product that your workplace purchase, for example, a TV, a computer, I don't know why, right? A whatever item that you want to say. And then you have to add a characteristic or a feature. For example, imagine that I asked to Fabricio, Fabricio, tell me the products that your workplace purchase. And Fabricio say, uh, answer me a computer. Okay, a computer. And he had to tell me the characteristic, right? For example, a computer, Windows 10, a 16 RAM a screen, 16 inch, a Core i7, etc. right? Or so on. Me tiene que dar las características y decirme el producto. Yep. You got it? Yes? Yeah, okay, really good. Okay, students. Eh, veamos. In these activities, you want to work in groups. Vamos a trabajar en grupos, así que tienen que al menos utilizar dos items, dos artículos que compra o adquieren en su empresa. Puede ser un televisor, puede ser una computadora, teléfono, no sé, cualquier otra cosa, un aire acondicionado, pero tienen que mencionar the feature or characteristic, right? Yes? Ok, really good. Okay, students, we're gonna work in groups. Uh, yeah, like this. Okay, don't be shy. You have to work together and practice this activity, right? Go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, students, give me a minute, right? Okay. I got a technical problem, right? But don't worry. I'm gonna wait uh, 30 seconds. Vamos a reforzar lo que van a hacer, chicos, es básicamente preguntarse qué cosas se compran dentro de su empresa, ¿sí? Cualquier item, right? Y te agregan la característica generalizada de ese artículo, ¿sí? ¿Yes? Puede ser el precio, las dimensiones, qué funciones tiene, I don't know, whatever you want. What we want is to practice this, right? Ok. We're going to work in groups again. Give me a second. Ok. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, don't be shy. You can do it. Practice together, right? Okay.
eh, alcohol gel. <risa> sí, todas las empresas están comprando. Sería una tablet brand Samsung, o a saber qué marca, ¿no? Pero, eh, Android. System Operative Android. Ok. Ah, pero inventando 8.8. <risa> Screen de 6 inch. Ok. Quiero eh, verte más. Alcohol gel. <risa> Brand. Alcohol. Quiero ver. Uh, a computer con System Operating. Creo que todos esperamos una Core i7. Never, never, never. 22, 22 inch Windows 10. Pero bueno, RAM de 8 GB. Esperamos que compren de eso, pero todavía estamos esperando a que las compren. No sé, Jorge, si alguna alguna ahí que nos pueda My, ¿Cómo se llama? My Joe is by a laptop de laptop eh, for eh, the display for size de five kings de Winston 10 run 8 de E5 core. Ok, really good. Amazing, good. Eh, ok. A uh, uh, Matepad Pro 5G uh, with a uh, 5 inch height uh, 6, 6 uh, inch uh, weight a uh, Two pound, uh, okay. I don't know, uh, resistant battery and, and comfortable and cheap. Exactly. Okay, okay, really good. Nice. Okay, students, continue practice. Uh, try to mention another item and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, congratulations, you did a good. Windows 10. Brand and be around. Yeah, brand is the same. They said, right? Yeah. The man, brand. The Shiva. The Shiva. Sistema operativo. Operating system, sería. Operating system, ajá. Uh, Operating. Operating system. Nice. Sí. Operating system. ¿Qué, ¿Qué sistema operativo? Windows 7. Seven. Operative system. Eh, ¿Qué otra cosa? El precio, ¿verdad? Price. Price. Eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred. Three hundred. Eight. Hey, 800. <laughs> okay, 800 yeah, yeah, like this. Okay, really good. Hey, price. Price. No, los clones. It's a laptop. Okay. okay. 800. Um, Marco, pero sistema operativo, precio, eh, ¿qué otra cosa? Prime. Memory RAM. RAM memory. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, RAM memory. <laughs> ok, ok, very good. 
Okay, students, continue practice. I'll be back in a minute. Great. Go ahead. 400. 400. 400. I guarantee it's uh, two years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guarantee extended. Yeah. Bueno, sería ahí Sí, sí. My, my telephone is uh, um my my telephone is Huawei. Okay. Uh, era marca. Mark Awe, ah, sí. Ok. Brand is Huawei. Huawei, yeah. Yeah. Okay, mention some characteristics. Mm. Its dimension is... Um, Okay, I think it's four inch or something like that, right? Or six, I don't know. It's number inch, inches. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now you are talking about a phone. Phone. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Amazing. Okay, continue practice, students. I will be back in a minute. I'm going to go to other group. Congratulations. Okay. But Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Yeah, but see Daisy. 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 Daisy, are you there? Yeah, they say, don't be shy. <laughs> they say, mention an item that uh, in your workplace you have to buy or purchase, right? A computer, I don't know. No, I enter. Okay, okay, no inter, right? No, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I know that right now we're gonna have a little problem with the internet connection, right? Está lloviendo en varias partes de El Salvador, así que don't worry. Uh, try to... Brian. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, Daisy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, hello. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Go ahead and practice with... My cell phone. Yeah, yeah. No. Sí, se oye, se oye bien. <laughs> ok. Se escuchó. Ok, muy bien. Ok, students, continue practice and I'll be back in a minute. Ok. Ok. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok, hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. No escucho nada de lo que dijimos. Estaban diciendo. No lo entiendo. Para nada. It's the first class. Ok, ok. That's good. Ok. Did you talk about some items? Yeah. ¿Qué artículo mencionaron? A vosotros se están escribiendo. Eh, Guan, Guan, artículo. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Eh, the cloth, como tela. Ok, ah, the cloth, yes, really good. My example is table. Ok. Example is computer. 
computer. Laptop or computer, really good. My example is printer. Is printer. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, really good. And what about the features? Features or characteristic? My table is color black. Okay. Um, how one years guarantee? Come on, guarantee. Warranty? Yeah, warranty. Warranty. One year. Yes, one year. Really? Oh, that's good. <laughs> It's good table, teacher. Oh, okay, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, Gabriela, what about the feature of the computer? Okay, the brand is Samsung, color okay. is black, size yes. is 14 inches, yeah. price $449. Okay, warranty okay. Uh, one year and uh, peso. I don't remember how do you pronounce. Okay, okay. The weight, 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 weight. Uh, maybe for pound, pounds. Okay, for pounds. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Our good product. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Son de la nueva, tío. <laughs> I want one pick. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay, Marvin, uh, can you tell me the feature of your printer, please? Um, uh, printer. Um, price uh, 600. 100. Uh, measures uh, 50 inch for 20 inch. Uh, color is black. Uh, warranty. Uh, two years, uh, color print and uh, multifuncional. Okay, okay, really nice. Thank you, Marvin. Really, really good. Okay, now Clarissa. Um, in my workplace, by cloud for closing, and okay. uh, the jar cost um, ten dollars. Yeah. The jar measures one hundred centimeters. Okay. Um, the color is white. And the cloth is for fabric bed spread, como cubre camas. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, really good. Mm. Okay. okay, that's good, Clarissa, really nice. Okay, students, uh, practice again with each other, right? Eh, practiquenlo nuevamente para que no cueste ya la hora de decir eh, el producto más that characteristic, right? You can have, you know, say, the product and or the item and the feature. Okay, continue practice. I'll be back in a minute. So I'm gonna go to another group. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Okay, students. Um, everybody finish your own item. Terminaron su artículo. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, cada uno habló de un artículo diferente. O el mismo? No. Sí. Del mismo, solo que sacamos bastantes características. Okay. Okay. Entonces, eh, wanna work as a team, right? Vamos a hablar del artículo y de sus feature or characteristic. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is the item? Computer. Computer. Yes, computer. A computer, a computer. Okay, well, what is its feature? Characteristic? Tatiana? Toshiba. Okay, Toshiba is the brand, really big. Operating system, Windows 7. Windows 7, thank you, Tatiana. Okay, we're going to go with Google. Alexander. Continue with the price yep. is $800. Yep. And warranty has one year. Okay, really good. Okay. The color is black and gray. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Black and gray, really good. Marlon Ernesto. 
Another feature? Guarantee. Okay. Yeah, it works. Six. Yep. Six and mess. What is the meaning mess? Month. Okay. Month. Six months. Six months. Yeah, really good. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Angel Santos. Another feature. La garantía es a un year. One year. One year. One year, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, students, congratulations. You did it really, really nice. Okay, we're gonna go back to the main uh, room, right? Okay. See you there. Okay. Ok, vamos a esperar unos 30 segundos para que se unen el resto de los estudiantes. Ok, that's good. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Hello, students. Okay. Hi. Hi. I hope that you practice already. You know the exercise about the items, the articles, and its feature or characteristic. Okay. Very good. Algunos hicieron las características muy amplias, congratulations, otros cortas. Eh, but the, you know, what we want here is to practice, right? Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna continue practice. And uh, we're gonna continue with today's class. Let me see, yeah. There we go. Okay, students, basically we did this activity right. And right now we're gonna continue with today's class. And now we're gonna practice this question, right, to your partner. Uh, unfortunately, you know, time, uh, desafortunadamente el tiempo nos va avanzando rápido, cuando son buenas estudiantes, así que ni modo, vamos a ir más rapidito. And we're gonna ask this question to the partner and write down the information. Y vamos a preguntarnos estas preguntas y dar respuesta de ello <coughs> en grupos, pero por el tiempo vamos a hacerlo así. Eh, todos juntos, así que uh, we're going to start with the first one. Okay, I need a volunteer who want to ask this. A volunteer. Eh, ¿cuántos, ¿Cuántos productos puedes comprar en el trabajo? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, muy bien. Por muy bien. Yeah. Y acá, eh, para continuar la traducción. Which one? Menciona alguno de ellos. Ok, ok. ¿Cuáles son? ¿Cuáles son esos o, o los que, las cosas que se van a comprar? Muy bien. Ahora Marvin ahí, thank you, eh, va a hacer esta pregunta a alguien. Eh, how many products does your workplace buy? ¿Y cuáles son? Eh, esa persona le va a contestar, ah, compramos tres productos, solo uno, solo dos. Va a decir el producto, one, two, three, four. Hey, ¿Cuáles son? Ah, it's a computer, it's this, it's this one, right? Okay, Marvin, go ahead with the first one. Ah, uh, cualquiera. Eh, choose a name. Ahí el que es su mejor amigo ahí, que, que, que diga su nombre y le damos con todo. <laughs> bueno, vamos a ir con un, un compañero que tuve hace unos módulos atrás, a uh, Fabricio. <laughs> Hi, Fabricio. Ahí Hi Barbie. <laughs> Volvemos a encontrar. Sí, estamos ahí. Okay, that's good. Uh, question. Question, Fabricio. How many products does your white place buy? 
Which ones are they? Yeah, go ahead, Fabricio, answer this question. Uh, the products of the products uh, by my work. Yeah, yeah. How many? Uh, three products, three computers. Computer? Three computers. Three computers. No, okay, okay, that's it. <laughs> 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 okay, very nice. Thank you, Claudia and Marmi. Okay, we're going to continue with the second one, right? Eh, vamos a pasar con la número dos. Okay, uh, it says approximately how many units do they buy of it? ¿Qué dice acá esta pregunta? Está un poco extraña, right? Aproximadamente, ¿cuántas unidades compraste? Okay, okay. Que ellos compraron? Okay, really good. In this case, Fabricio ya nos adelantó la respuesta también a eso. Okay, really good. Nice. Thank you. The last one. Okay, let me see who wants to, to ask these questions. ¿Quién quiere preguntar esta pregunta? Okay, okay, Fernando, go ahead. Elija ahí a un compañero o compañera. Lady or a man. Don't worry. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver permítame. A Gabriela Merari. Ok, ok. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Gabriela, how much money do you think the, pardon, how much money do you think they spend? They spend in a computer, right? Okay. A computer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, five units. Five units. And then how much money? Oh. Two hundred. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. $400. Like $400 for each one of them. For cada una de ellas. If Fabricio decía que eran tres computers, right? <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's much money, teacher. It's, not, it's much money. Yeah, much money. <laughs> okay, Gabriela, uh, $400 times three, right? $400 por tres, ¿cuánto sería? In English. Uh, one, ver, one thousand. Yeah, yeah, one thousand. Uh, Two dollars. Hundred, yeah, really good, nice. Okay, congratulations, you did a good. Okay, you. students, uh, because of the time, of the time, we're gonna run quickly, and we got this activity, right? We're gonna do it together. Vamos a hacer juntos esto también. Así que tenemos eh, algunas um, new words. Y en otra ya la sabíamos, así que tenemos size. What is size? Tamaño. Ok. Mira. Ok, muy bien. Weight. Weight, peso. Yeah, very really nice. Price. Precio. Precio. Peso, precio, medida. Ok. Dimension. Dimensiones. Dimensiones. Ok, ok. Eh, cuidado ahí, Carlos Alfonso. No voy a golpearse ahí. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good. Battery life. Y de la batería. Y de la batería. Ok, para los que tienen iPhone, you understand this, right? Ok, eh, storage. Storage. Almacenamiento. Yeah, el almacenamiento. Esto, o con esto, almacenamiento puede ser interno de una computadora o cell phones or it could be a place o puede ser un lugar donde se va a almacenar algo yep los dos significados ¿Sí? ok, okay. Really good. okay. Functions. functions funciones funciones really funciones good. and the last one that we have is warranty la garantía, la garantía. Okay, 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 really good. Okay, students, what you're gonna do here? Le voy a dar one minute. You have to read whatever you want, la que ustedes quieran, y tienen que hacer un match. Tienen que enlazarlas acá. Por ejemplo, si usted cree que el size me da con esta definición, pues lo pone acá, y si no, con esta, 
y un minuto y luego comenzamos al azar. I'm gonna ask randomly. Voy a preguntar al azar. Así que one minute. Agarre una sola y la empareja. Go ahead. Okay, 20 seconds. Okay, are you ready? Ready? Yeah. More or less? Yes, yes okay, really good. Okay, uh, let me see who wants to start. El primero que inicie tiene la suerte de elegir cualquiera de las que usted desea. Uh -huh. Me? <laughs> okay, okay, really good, Clarissa. <laughs> What's the number? Uh, pra, eh, no. Um, battery life. Battery life, yes. Um, C. And, uh, letter what? C. C. A letter. Um, C. C. Okay, yeah, battery A life. measure of battery performance and longevity. Okay, really nice. Thank you, Clarissa. Really good. Uh, esa es. Congratulations. You did it good. Así que ahora veamos ahí, eh, Clarisa, elija a uno de sus compañeros, va a iniciar con Saiz. Um, Fernando. Fernando, ok, Fernando. No, Clarisa. Okay, okay. <risa> Fernando, number one. Size. One is mm, D. Letter D. Are you sure? Ok. Um, Ah, no. Ajá, uh -huh. letter what? D, teacher. D, ok, are you sure? Yes. Ok, ok, Fernando. El letter D is similar, but no, right? It's letter A. Oh. Measurements or proportion of some kind. Really good. Thank you, Fernando. Pero muy bien. Okay. Let's get Fernando, elija a alguien ahí. Choose one of your partner. Number two. No puedo elegir a Clarissa. Oh, yes. A Tatiana Torres. Tatiana. Okay, Tatiana. Okay, number two. Wait, wait. 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 Um. Uh, D. Letter D. Okay. Are you sure? No. Ah, no, no hay el peso. El peso. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, Ajá. A ver. <laughs> ok. La voz de la tierra. Por alguno. F. Ok. Un letter. cuerpo relativo F. a la masa. Ok, ok. Ok, really good. Thank you, Tatiana. Really good. Ok, Tatiana, we're going to continue with number three. Choose one of your classmates. Uh, um, Carlos. Carlos, Carlos, you are a lucky man. Price is an easy one. Price is a G. Letter D. The G, the amount of money ah, okay. re <laughs> required. Re yeah. Required or for some time. Okay, for something really good. Nice. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, Carlos, choose one of your classmates. Uh, gonna do number four. Este. 
sería con Jorge Alberto. Jorge. A dimension is letter um, letter D. Okay, letter D. Really good. Thank you. Okay. And okay. number five, get it Clarissa, right? Okay. Uh, choose one of your classmates with number six. What? Okay. Uh, Williams? Williams, Williams, number six. Storage. 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 Letter E. Eight. No, E. Letter E. Letter E, this one. Yes. And read it, please. Space. Fill or retention of something. Okay, really good. Thank you, William. Congratulations, number six, right to storage. Okay, William, number seven, choose one of your classmates. Uh, Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel, okay, good. Miguel Angel, functions. Function, uh, practical use or purpose in design, age. Okay, okay, really nice, thank you. Really, really good, Miguel. Okay, uh, Miguel Angel, use a lady, please. <clears throat> okay, Miguel Angel. Okay, Miguel Angel said Gabriela, I think, right? Okay, Gabriela. I can hear you. Okay, okay. Uh, I can hear you. Okay, no problem, Miguel Angel. You, you just I, got real already. I, I have problem with my, 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 my hair. Headphones, okay, no problem. Okay, Gabriela, the last one. Warranty letter B. Letter I B. promise to repair, replay something with a period of time. Okay, okay, really good. Congratulations, students. You did it really good, as you see here, right? Okay, students, um, I don't know if you have a question so far. Questions? No questions? No. No, it's okay. No question. No question. Everything is clear. Okay, if you don't have any questions, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a lot of questions. That's it, Kevin. I hope you're ready. <laughs> I'm just kidding, right? Ahí les vi la cara así, un poco serios. Ok, veamos ahí, chicos. Eh, please don't forget to work on the homework number one. On the platform, you're going to find homework number one. En la plataforma va a encontrar la tarea número. Bueno. Esa tarea son okay. solo cinco, cinco opciones ahí que ustedes van a elegir de los contables y los no contables. Contables and uncountable nouns, right? Ya saben que las cosas que se cuentan son las que se pueden contar, obviamente, right? Una manzana, una naranja, un árbol, entre otras cosas. Y las uncountable nouns, las que no podemos Contar, right? For example, sugar, salt, um, sand, coffee. Yeah, coffee, and that, and this, and this, and this, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, okay, really good. So, work on the homework. Trabajen en la tarea ahora. Esto necesito que la tengan terminada semana las 5 de esta sección, ¿sí? Ok, así okay. que si pueden hacerlo diariamente sería lo más genial. Y, eh, okay. please, eh, be on time. I see you tomorrow. Unfortunately, time is over. No, pasa lista ahorita. <ríe> Desafortunadamente, <ríe> el tiempo se nos terminó sumamente rápido. Eh, así que nos vemos mañana, chicos, acá a la misma hora. Y no olviden encender su webcam limpiarla bien y eh, poner su nombre completo, right? Yep. 
<laughs> to tomorrow. Okay. 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 Bye, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow.